Okay, what is your name? My name is Tina Ngata. All right, and where are you from? I'm from uh, Ngati Pro, the East Coast, uh, East Cape tribes of um, Te Ika Maui, also known as the North Island of New Zealand. Wow, okay, can you tell viewers and listeners from uh, Poor News Network who are struggling with poverty and environmental and classic racism all over, how and what's happening in your, what we thought was beautiful lands with these corporations? Yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, corporations know no borders, right? They're, they're global beasts, and so they've certainly extended into our land as well. We have um, a high level of unswimmable waterways, a very sad level of unswimmable waterways. 60% um, of our overall waterways are unswimmable. 90% of our low-level waterways are unswimmable due to high levels of E. coli and entrococci, largely from the dairy industry. Uh, dairy and agricultural industries, dairy and, um, and sheep. So um, forestry also devastates our lands and waterways on the east coast, largely through uh, sedimentation of our waterways. So we're working really hard to figure out ways that we can try to pull back on these industries or ask them to be more sustainable in their practices. Um, and now, of course, we have the appearance in, the, in more recent years of the oil industry. They've been on the East Coast for a long time, actually, for many, many years. But they're starting to creep over onto the East Coast now, so um, using seismic blasting and proposing oil exploration and extraction. So we're fighting a lot of beasts over in our little pocket. It used to be the pocket of paradise, but it's slowly getting squandered. Wow. And so you're, I heard that you were doing something at the UN, you're resisting that as Indigenous woman in general. What's going on with that? So I carry the voices of over um, 80 communities along the eastern seaboard of Aotearoa. hundreds of thousands of people in those communities as well as 24,000 New Zealanders who signed a petition to ask Norway, who are the owners of stat oil, to remove stat oil from our waters because they have made international commitments to honour Indigenous rights and that practice um, interrupts, our, it violates our rights and interrupts our subsistence traditions and um, and causes great damage. 600 whales beached in just two days from those activities. So uh, we went there to carry the voices of those people and to deliver that petition, which we did, but also to say that, you, that uh, the buck stops really with the United Nations who have developed laws that enable countries to be able to do this. And they have developed laws that also manage the high seas beyond national jurisdictions, which are still our territory. Our ancestors voyaged those waters and made families on those waters and fed and sung to and prayed to those waters and those salt waters are in our blood and we are those oceans mm, so everything that they do to those oceans they do to us and when they say that they're experts on those oceans they're saying they're an expert on us well oh. we're the experts on us oh. and that was our position at the UN that we will be our own experts and that we deserve a seat at the table and actually we, be, we should be driving that discussion because we have the longest history of demonstrated sustainable practice of anybody on the planet in relation to the ocean. Thank you for that. You're welcome. All right, and we'll keep connecting. Yes. All right. Nice.